Okay, so in our last video, we saw how we can apply the central limit theorem to the sampling distribution of the sample proportion, right, if we meet certain criteria. And theoretically, we know this distribution should look something like this if we meet these criteria. Okay, so that's great. So what does that mean? Well, if we can assume the central limit theorem holds, if we can assume normality, right, well, then that means we should be able to standardize. Right? I need to know how should I formulate my z-score in order to standardize. Well, your z-score is whatever kind of value you're interested in minus the mean right, over your standard deviation. So if our central limit theorem holds and we have this distribution, well, our z-score should just look something like this. Right? There's the mean, the standard error on the bottom, and we're interested in values of p hat. Okay, so this is the form of our z-score for standardizing in this scenario. So let's apply that with an example. Alright, so I'll let you read the example here for a second. So we want to so in this example, we've got a claim from the, the manufacturer of this aspirin that 53% of people who take two pills should feel better. Right, we're taking a large sample of 400. What's the probability that less than half of them get relief? Right, so we're assuming that P, we're assuming here P is 0.53, N is 400. What are we looking for? Probability of p hat being less than 0.5. So really the first thing I should do is check my conditions, make sure things check out. 400 times 0.53, that's going to be somewhere a little above 200, definitely more than 10. 400 times 0.47, a little below 200, we're in good shape. Alright, so we can assume that we have this distribution. So assuming that distribution, normal with a mean of 0.53 standard error plugging in p 0.53 there our standard error is this and here's what we're looking for so let's standardize and find our z-score our z-score is negative 1.2 now I could go to my table with my z-score it was negative 1.2 okay so here's negative 1.20 that gives me 0.1151. All right, so I could find that with my table. I could check myself in Minitab or technology, whatever we wanted to use there. Let me check myself in Excel here while we're at it. So norm, let's use norms dist, my z-score, negative 1.2. Of course, it's going to be cumulative. 0.115. So that agrees with what we found in the table. Also agrees with what Minitab has to say. Alright, so we've solved our problem. Again, we want to make sure we put it in the context of the original question. So there's about an 11.5% chance that if I had a sample of 400 people, only less than 50% of them would feel relief after taking the aspirin. Alright, so I hope that example helps, and I will see you guys next time.